Okay, so why do we keep getting this error when we provide links now in ChatGBT? In today's video, I'm gonna give you the best possible solution right now to get around this kind of error, possible reasons of why this error even occurred to begin with. So let's go ahead and jump into today's video. So I've gotten a lot of messages on my Twitter, YouTube, and other social media channels basically asking like, what's going on with this error? Why are we getting it? I'd be getting it personally as well. I'm gonna go ahead and theorize possible reasons why this error is occurring. If there's an actual reason of why this error is occurring, I personally haven't found it. Like I haven't found an official statement. So let me know in the comments down below if you actually know the legit reason of why this is occurring. I have some speculation. But without further ado, let's go ahead and just first show you how to solve this. And then on top of that, possible speculation. And then lastly, make sure to follow me on Twitter as we're just talking. Let's go and jump in. Okay, so let me go ahead and zoom out a little bit. I'll jump over here. If we remember the old days, I know it's already the old days, y'all. Remember the old days of Chad GBT, which is basically like two weeks ago. We used to be able to do this. We would simply put in a link to a website and we could say something like read this. And we could use the browsing feature here and it would be able to read the website. But now we're getting this error. And this is relevant and pertinent across different links. I even used OpenAI's own blog to show you that this doesn't work anymore. There is a couple of reasons of why this is possible, but first let's go over just the straight up best way to kind of work around this. What I found personally is basically the way you need to approach it now is you need to talk to it with the goal in mind. So for example, let's go ahead and just open up this blog real quick. This blog is the blog that introduced that, hey, GBTs are coming and basically goes over all the relevant information of what a GBT is. So let's just say I wanted Chad GBT to give me a summarization of this specific blog or give me context of what the heck a chat GBT is or a GBT. The best way to approach this now is gonna be very specific dictation and very specific uh, wording when it comes to how we prompt our prompts. So I'm gonna say, use your browsing feature and tell me what GBTs are that are a part of the OpenAI app, GBT app store that is coming. So a couple of things. First thing is, spelling is not too important. First thing is this. Notice how I am putting in the words OpenAI GBT app store as this is pertinent and relevant to this article. On top of that, I am telling it to specifically use the browsing feature because we're trying to circumnavigate its ability and limitations of its knowledge base, which currently is up to 2024, 2023 of April. I'm going to save and submit. This may or may not work, but this is so far what is the best way to do it. Because as you'll notice when it does the browsing feature here, notice the first search query. It's going to put in something like OpenAI GBT store or something of this nature. Is it going to show me a search query? Okay, here we go. OpenAI GBT app store upcoming GBTs. Notice the search query. This is the most important part and we should get relevant information here. Okay, so as you see, it did find the specific information that we cared about. It's talking about a new platform, a GBT store that allows individuals to create and monetize their own versions of ChatGPT, referred to as GBTs. These GBTs are specialized versions of ChatGPT designed for specific applications, so on and so forth. And just to prove to you, and just to gut check it, watch what happens if I don't add specific dictation like the OpenAI GBT app store, and I just ask what GBTs are. It's gonna go down a rabbit hole. Tell me what GBTs are. Okay, do this. And I'm gonna go ahead and just pause this real quick. So this is why it's important. And this is why basically the way we gotta approach this now when it comes to accessing information, when it comes to specific type of articles, is you almost need to go in the article yourself, skim through it and find specific words that are relevant and pertinent to that specific article and kind of surround it with the overarching question. Therefore, if I ask a question like this with limited dictation, you'll notice it may go down a rabbit hole here and talk about like, the early days of GBTs. So we're talking about like DaVinci 2 and stuff of this nature. Let's see, what this, yeah, what are GBTs? This may take it down a different rabbit hole. Let's see. Okay, so that kind of failed. It did reference the OpenAI GBT store, but for your reference, if you're having issues, when it comes to finding the specific information that you're looking for when it comes to links, just add more information relevant to that link. And honestly, you might go as far as going to the blog itself and maybe even copying a sentence or two, like really get in very, very specific wording of that underlying article in order for it to show up within the browsing. With that being said, there's your solution or maybe a band-aid for the current way we handle ChatGPT. So now that we know that, it is pretty obvious to me, we are dealing with a nerfed ChatGPT now. 
Seems like browsing actually got chopped at the kneecaps here and browsing is not as powerful as it used to be as it used to be where you could actually give very specific links. Now, what are possible reasons for this? There might actually have been official statements. Let me know in the comments. But from my perspective and what I've seen, it's possibly because of stuff like this happening. So the New York Times sues ChatGPT because part of the training model that incurred when they were making ChatGPT was trained on New York Times like articles and information and stuff of this nature. And they got sued for it. Now, if you've seen Sam Altman and some of his interviews, uh, for example, there's one really good one with Joe Rogan. I encourage you to watch that as just gives you perspective of the overall industry and stuff of this nature. But in that interview itself, he even points out that they are expecting to get sued and they know this is coming. But the way they see it is that the litigation would take so many years that by the time it's even by the time it gets settled or by the time it even matters, they're so far when it comes to the development of these models that it's not even relevant anymore. Therefore, they are probably taking more precautious ways of handling links now. It seems like this is part of the spillover effects of what happens when you get sued. They don't want to keep getting sued. So we're dealing with a no more nerfed version of ChatGPT, sadly. That being said, though, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to like the video if you feel like you learned something today. We are going to be diving into a ton of stuff when it comes to ChatGPT and more specifically GBTs that are being launched in that new app store coming next week. Whether it's a positive, a negative, it doesn't matter. This channel is all about basically the next 10 years how the heck do I get artificial intelligence and integrate it into my personal or my business life? So I'm going to leave a playlist at the end here where that specific playlist on this channel is just looking at GBTs and ways to leverage it, creating custom actions to GBTs, uh, basically creating OAuth. What is OAuth, Corbin? How do we connect with other softwares and get you know consent in order to manipulate Gmail data, manipulate Google data, whatever it may be. Without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. And yes, surprise. I'm an AI avatar. Make sure to explore more here at Corbin AI, where we demystify AI for your personal and business life. Until next time.